Hello everybody, Matthew here. Going to give you a quick overview of Pipedrive Content Retention Management System um, that I've been using since October in place of the Google Spreadsheets that we used to use. So uh, what you're looking at here is the contacts portion of Pipedrive. It's where it stores all the information on each one of my prospects. Um, as you can see, I've got quite a few columns here that I uh, keep notes on. Um, and do different things with, but uh, we'll get into that a little more here in a second. Um, basically, the way I use it is, um, is to track my prospects through what they call stages. So let me switch over here, and this is the pipeline. So as you can see, I've set up about 11 stages here, and as I'm moving a prospect uh, from beginning to end, um, I can drag and drop them into individual stages. So it's as easy as grabbing and dragging and moving them from one column to another. So let's move him back here and move on. So um, as you can see, the process would be get a new prospect through Craigslist or whatever, um, add them into pipe drive, and then add them as a deal on this pipeline. So let's go back and add a person real quick. So I'm just going to click the Add Person button here. I'm going to open up Craigslist, and here is a response to an ad I just received today. So what I'm going to do is copy her name and add it to add her onto PipeDrive. So email address. phone number and don't know which one is the best phone number so I'm just gonna pick one here put that in there and so on down the line um, this city I would put if I had that information on where she actually lived I would put that in there if not I'd put the city that um, I placed the ad in so that's in Texas original lead date, um, that's when I received the response from the ad is today. The source is Craigslist. The category is, and if I switch back over to the response, the category here is business. So I'm going to pick business and management and the ad title right here I like to keep track of as well. So I can sort on that ad title in the future and see um, you know what people were responding to so next thing is first contact date again that's today and I'm going to send her a text um, in a minute so there's text and I'll come back to the notes and all that stuff here in a minute so once I've got all that information in her I'm going to hit save and she's added to the list um, instead of scrolling through the complete list of all my 340 74 people I can click on D um, and I can scroll down and see where she's added there. I can also type in her name in the search box and there she is here as well. So um, I can also click here or in the list and that brings up her actual sheet. So here that comes. Um, what I'm going to do next is actually check and make sure that she's not protected. So let's copy her email address, go to cams, put it in there, put some other stuff in here, and I'm doing this just to make sure she's not protected. So waiting a second till Sonic the Hedgehog stops spinning there, and hopefully she's not, and we can continue on. So she's not. It's put her up here in the pending registration. So when I'm going to close that, I'm going to switch back over to Google Voice and send her a text. So copy her phone number, paste it in there. Um, here's a standard text I send. So hello, Daniela. Thanks for answering our ad, yada yada. Send. Okay, that's sent. Let's switch back over to Pipe Drive. 
And my notes down here, I'm gonna say sent text at 319. Okay. So the next step is to add her to the pipeline so that I can track her progress in there. So I'm gonna switch back to the pipeline. I'm gonna pick add deal. I'm gonna type in her name, Daniela. There she is. Um, I usually knock that deal off there. For the deal value, I'm putting 10,000 because I'm optimistic and I'm gonna make 10,000 on every prospect that I run through the system. So there's that. And then in the pipeline stage, I'm gonna click on initial text and it'll place her right into that stage. So save, and here she is down here. So you can see as I go through the process, um, if she doesn't respond to the text, then I'll send her an opportunity email and move her to that column. Uh, if she doesn't respond to that, then I'll move her to the next column and place a call to her. Um, if she doesn't answer or respond after that, then I will mark her as lost and not mess with her anymore. If somebody can't respond to us and within three tries, then you probably don't deserve to be on our team. So. Speaking of when you lose a prospect, uh, the way that works is, um, and actually, let me step back one second, and you notice this box here that's red. Throughout all these stages, um, they have a process that's called ROT. So you can set um, a time, whether it's one day, two days, whatever, um, a ROT time on each stage. So this red box means that this guy's been sitting in this um, stage for more than 24 hours. So I'm gonna click on him. Open up, please, there we go. And you can see it says it's been rotting for one day. I happen to know that, um, I, I talked to him earlier today and I lost this deal, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Um, I did make some notes down here that um, he said he was not interested because he was too busy. But I'm gonna go ahead and click the lost button and say not interested. Too busy at this time. I'm going to mark him as lost. Uh, another neat thing that I've done is um, I have a drip list field or a MailChimp field and I'm marking him for a drip list. So in MailChimp I've set up a list called the drip list that I can at a later date send all these people to and then start them on a drip process. So I'm going to save that. I've already marked him as lost. If I switch back to deals now, you can see he's gone completely off the pipeline. So that's a quick overview of Pipe Drive. Um, if you have any questions, just let me know. Hopefully I will get to uh, a new video and the next one will be how to set up Pipe Drive, how to set up the stages, and also how to set up all these fields on the contact sheet. So until then, enjoy. Um, oh, last things, um, PipeDrive is PipeDrive.com. You can go and check that out. And also, if you want to get started with PipeDrive, they do have a promo code where you can do a free trial of 45 days instead of just 30 days. So anybody that's interested, let me know, and I'll send you a link to that. Otherwise, um, hope you enjoyed, and talk to you again soon. Bye.